Madam, he said you have been debated. Are you sure? Do I look like I don't know what I am saying? Look at it now. Look at, look at it. Please, this is not a debit alert. Twice for that matter. You mean she's not back from the market since? As you can see. Which market is she? She's not taking my call. She's not taking your she... call. Nico, <laughs> <laughs> just hey. give me back my money. I don't it's want true. to choose. It's true. I've seen the debit alert. Thank you. What? She just rejected my call. But madam, I think the, the, the problem is I from your bank. I your bank. Oh, it's network. Oh. It's from your bank, but don't worry. They will revise it. Mom, is something wrong with... Let, let's wait a while. Maybe she could be busy. Yeah. So not reverse it. What do I do? Who do I collect my money from? Abba. Then you, you report to your bank. Ha. Yeah, you report to your bank. But believe me, before 48 hours, they will, they will reverse it. <laughs> believe me. No, one no major about your customer. Oh, ah, she was just even shouting. Ah. She could not even explain. Can you hear your problem? What exactly is wrong with her that she, she will reject my call? I'm supposed to answer that question. Over, please, I'm still begging you. Let me do transfer for you. Madam, I don't like transfer. In this network issue, I don't like it. I prefer cash. Over, please. I'm having a bad day already. And the weather is gradually changing. Please, don't worry, you'll get the alert, I promise you. Uh, okay, just do the transfer. If I see the alert, I will give you the free stuff. Okay, let me show it. I'm sure you'll get it before I leave. But before your arms are Um, I don't have it off hand. Let me... Let me do it. Let me fast, eh? Okay. Five, six... This is, this is, this is absolutely nonsense! not taking my calls and she's not returning them now it is raining i don't know where where she has gone no this is not her what is this uh Tom. you have to calm down first and keep calling her number what do you mean keep calling her she didn't take my calls she rejected them and you said i should call her again for what it's your wife we are talking about here she could be in any kind of danger now it's raining Calling her till she picks your call. Five missed calls again, and she didn't take anyone. None of them. She hasn't taken None. <laughs> you know, it's a good thing that you're experiencing this for yourself. Next time when I give you an advice as your mother, you'll take it. Going to get a wife from the snow. Tom, you have to calm down. Just calm down. I believe she will still come back soon. Calm, calm down.
Thomas, you need to calm down. Mom, she is not taking my call. Sorry, ma. We do have to. It was, it was really heavy there outside. I, I, and I had a flat tire as well, so I just. What is this? I'm... What is the meaning of this? Why are you making such a mess here? You're just an idiot. You hear me? What is all this? Where are you coming from? Will you answer me before I smack the hell out of you? Where are you coming from? Easy, man. Easy. Take it easy on her. Take it easy. No, no, no. Why would I be calling her and she's not taking my call? Come. It's okay. Your mom already slapped her. It's, uh, it's, it's alright. Calm down, please. Easy, 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 man. Take it easy on her. I'm sorry, guys, for all this embarrassment. Let's just go to a restaurant for that. <laughs> And she's still standing there. She's still standing there. No. This place look, looks, looks like your father's match for. See the mess you're making in my house. <laughs> you better come, come, bring mop and bucket and come and start cleaning up this place. After our youth service, I'll be traveling to Europe for my second degree and my master's program. So, what becomes of me? What becomes of the promises and love you've been giving to me? Come on, babe. I still love you till tomorrow. I'm not going to die there. I'll still come back for you, okay? How can you tell me you'll come back for me when there are other beautiful girls over there who are even more beautiful than I am? Come on, babe, you should understand these things. I didn't fall in love with you because of your beauty. You should understand that it's more of the internal beauty than the external. There's a quality I see in you that tells me you make a good wife. That's much reason why I'm in love with you. It's not because of your facial beauty. Okay? I got you, babe. So do you mean you're not going to see all those qualities from other girls over there. <sighs> Come on, babe. These qualities are real. Come on, you should understand that you are one of a kind. Hmm. I'm finding it difficult to believe. To believe you. Once you travel, that will be the end of us. Come on, babe. Why are you sounding like this? See, I like telling myself the truth. What truth are you talking about? How can you go through the stress of coming down to Nigeria again to pick up a wife with you to abroad when there are other beautiful girls who live over there? Wait, babe. Are you saying I'll be living in London after my marriage? Are you intending coming back? Your mother and your siblings live over there. Come on now, babe. Yes, my siblings and my mom, they live over there, but you know my, my late father have a business running here in Nigeria and someone needs to stay back to manage it and other properties. Believe me when I say I'm going to come back to this country to get you. I'll come and get you and we'll get married, okay? Jerobe, it's okay. Coming. 
Hi, love. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. This one, you are all by yourself. What's up? Other coppers are playing outside the lodge. If by now you've not known me to be a private person, that means your character learning skills are weak. Come on, babe. I know you are a private person. I know that. But you should go out and, you know, socialize with friends. I do when I feel like... Huh? Okay, that's cool. Um, that's not why I came. So, why are you here? My mother is in the country. Wow! Wow, wow! That's really nice! Wow, that's good! Yeah. I'm actually traveling to Benin this weekend and I want you to accompany me. Is that necessary? Come on now, baby, tease. You know, I've been telling my mom about you over the phone and she wants to meet with you. <laughs> You're talking as if we're getting married in the next six months, one year or even two years. You still have your master's and your second degree program to run abroad. There you go again, babe. See, the thing is, I want to show you that it's you or no one else. You know, my family, I've actually told them much about you and they are waiting to see this special person. Okay, I'll think about it. I'll give you my reply tomorrow. That's cool. I'll wait for your reply then, okay? All right, I'll catch up with some things now. See you later, okay? All right, take care. <laughs> All right, bye. Yeah, yeah, I'll see you later. Okay. Lucy, not that Thomas has proposed to me. We're only making plans to a future that is not even close. A future that we don't even know if it will come true. You don't love him? I love him. I love him so much. <laughs> so there is absolutely nothing wrong in going to see his mom. Lucy, the problem here is that this guy will leave this country immediately after our youth service program and travel for his master's and second degree program. It's not still enough to believe that he's not coming back for me. Why not give him the benefit of doubt? He might still come back for you according to his words. What if I keep rejecting other suitors? And he finally disappoints me. See, this thing is very simple. If he travels and continues calling you, sending you money, sending you gifts, you really don't need to look in another man's way, okay? Until he stops oiling the wheels of love then you can know if he really wants to marry you or not. From there, you can really make the right decisions. Really? That's right. Two good heads are better than one. I so much appreciate you. This means a whole lot to me. Thank you. Thank you so much, Lucy. <laughs> You've not said anything as regards what we discussed yesterday. Okay. Don't worry. I'll go with you. Are you being serious? I'm not joking. I'll go with you to Benin to see your mom. Thank you, babe. You Thank are the you best. Too. I love you so much. I love you too. <laughs> you know, um, you are the best in that that has ever happened to me. Yes, I know. I saw them all. <laughs> no, that's okay. That, that's not a problem. Yes. Okay, you know what you're going to do? You will come back and... Can I call you back in a minute, please? Hello. Hey, Mom. Oh, 
Very fine, mommy. Come in. Mom, meet my beautiful girlfriend, Margaret, the girl I've been telling you about. Margaret, Good evening, my beautiful mom. Yeah. Good evening, Ma. Where are you from? I'm from Imo State, Ma. And whose daughter are you? My father is late and my mom lives. Who was your father before he died? My father was a village carpenter. Excuse you? Yes, Ma. He was a village carpenter. Tom. Yes, Mommy. This is the person you want to spend the rest of your life with? Yes, Mom. Isn't she beautiful? The daughter of a village carpenter. Come on, Doctor. We, we have friends in high places. Yes, I know that. We have, we have friends. We're friends with senators, ministers, business muggles. Their daughters are not good enough for you. Mom. You want Margaret. to rob the name of your father in the mud? By marrying this <laughs> Margaret. Mommy, stop! Stop! Baby, Don't stop. be silly! Come back here! Baby. Is this boy high or something? You come back and meet me here. What is the meaning of this? <laughs> baby. Baby, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. I didn't want to come here. I did it. But you forced me into this. Now see. I'm sorry about everything, babe. <laughs> to be honest, I've done what is expected of me. I've shown her the woman I want to get married to. She can't stop me from marrying you, babe. You know I love you so much. Please, let's go back inside. Please. I'm not spending a night in this house. I am not. <sighs> babe, please. You can't go back to Ogu State by this time. Come on, babe, please, let's go back inside. Take me to a hotel. Babe, I can't take you to any hotel. This is my late father's house. And by right of inheritance, I am the first son of this house. This is my house. Come on, I can't have something like this in this city and still take you to a hotel. Please, let's go back inside. Please. <laughs> please. Where are you taking that thing? Let's go, I got you. Thomas, where are you taking this thing? Let's go. Thomas, I, you're actually entering my house? Thomas, Thomas, I'm taking. You need to see how this woman was talking to me. I have never been humiliated like this all my life. I felt like evaporating away from them. I felt like disappearing into the thin air. <sighs> oh God. I know that feeling. I can relate, trust me. I felt terrible. All through last night, I couldn't sleep till it was morning. I had to start rushing to the park. So, what did your guy say? What else? He was apologizing to me. I know by now, both of them will be having issues. <sighs> Make I talk my mind. I seen they be me now. Me, Lucy. I can never marry a guy whose mother hates me. I will just get strength for mother in law palaba at all. And I will not advise any lady to do so. At all, at all. <laughs> exactly my thoughts. I have gone through a lot, Lucy. Ah. Is this I never wanted to. I wouldn't have been here in the first place. 
I saw all this coming from the onset, but my mother, that woman. Again, what are you doing here? Are you not supposed to be in the with your mother in law? Mama, mm. I am not interested. Thomas and his mother should go to hell and burn to ashes. <laughs> hey, Anna, I call you in. Nobody will reduce me to a slave. Never. Nobody. Hey, Maggie, what are you before? Are you better than a slave? Mm. Eh, answer me. Mama, how can you say a thing like that? Why can I not say a thing like that? You walk in here with your bag when you're supposed to be with your mother in law in, in Benin. Kongwi ke na kuziri go tesa anudi na wai ibura akpabanata. You come here, you are standing before me to tell me, in, in short, to inform me that you are no longer interested in the marriage, just like that. Maggie, Chey, Maggie, are you blind? Are you blind that you cannot see that poverty has reduced you, me? Us to nothing. Are you blind not to have seen that that young man, Thomas, is a God sent to this family to liberate us from poverty? Poverty has reduced me, you, us to nothing. So, ne, the better you accept it as your fate, the better for the both of us. Because, Thomas, you must marry, and you are going back to Benin. Mm -hmm. Mama, mm -hmm. not even a welcome from you. Hey, yeah. I, I need to go and drop my bag. Oh, look. Don't worry. Drop the bag. You will still bring it out. You must return to Benin, no? You see, Thomas, you must marry that young man. He is the man I want. Akwanona, Omonage. Yehugu. What happened? Mama, that woman hates me so much. She hates me with passion. I can't imagine her being my mother in law. No, Mama. No. Maggie? I am asking you what happened. It's not you. You have not answered my question. What happened? Okay, Mama. There is nothing I do that pleases that woman. Everything I do irritates and disgusts her. As if that was not enough, she stopped the chef, maids, and the cleaners from doing their duties and mandated me to be working. That is the, it is the duty of a woman to be doing all the works. Mama, do you know that I work from morning to evening on a daily basis? I cook three times a day. I wash three times in a week. Mama, I mop the whole house every two days. Mama, the suffering is much. I can't take it now. I cannot. No. Maggie, are you done? Yes, Mama. Good. Let me ask you. How was your stay in the university? Even when your uncle was sending money for your school fees. How were you coping in your academic career? Mama, I suffered a lot. But I wasn't complaining because I know my family was poor. If we had money like other families, it wouldn't be so. Good. Now let me ask you another question. How was you staying with your brothers and your sisters when you all were growing up as children. 
Mama, we suffered a lot. We find it difficult to feed twice a day. Good. Now I want you to see it in your mother's in-laws perspective that it's not her fault. Do you know what is happening to you, Maggie? It's called fate. And that fate you have refused to accept. That same fate, Maggie, you have refused totally to accept in good faith. What is your problem? I want to know. Why are you so confused? Answer me. Oh, so give one. Come for now, you think sugar no no. Umiria. Senior Yose Kota. Maggie. We are Maggie. We have I wrong to you. Maggie. Ma. Talk because I feel oh, that's all them come tagging Nogi. To be honest, hold on. Wait. This same man, Thomas, that you have refused to marry, has accepted to give you everything a woman desires in this marriage just for you to be happy. Maggie Sene Choria. This same young man, Thomas. Is already making plans to build a house for us. Maggie, you are refusing it. This same young man, Thomas, that you have refused to marry, have already sent you a car. It's in a toro. Answer me! Mama, does that mean I was born to suffer? Hey. Did I say that you are born to suffer? Have I said anything close to that? What I am trying to tell you is that Thomas is ready to give you everything and is ready to make you happy. We have suffered enough. Me, I have suffered enough. And I want to come out of that suffering. And if you're telling me you're suffering, you should be happy now. Uh -huh now because it is better to suffer in, in money than to suffer in poverty. So, I will prefer you to gladly welcome that suffering and continue in that suffering because it is suffering in money. Again, am I saying there's something that you're not getting? No, Mama. Have I not suffered enough? Suffer. You shall have. Right now, I want you to be normal. Makana, it will happen. Mama, Mama, what? I am a graduate now. Hey. Now is not the same as before. Mm. You are a graduate. Kagini Mezia. Maggie? You are not the only graduate. Though. There are so many graduates roaming in the streets. These same graduates have not been able to secure jobs for themselves, Maggie. And if these same graduates are able to secure jobs for themselves, Maggie, how much is the salary? How much? Because sometimes I feel their income is usually lesser to what they spend. You know what we will do now so that there will be peace in this house? Eh? You see that young man, Thomas? You must marry him. Maggie, you are not a witch. You see this one, you will not deny me or deprive me of this joy. That house, he must build. You will get up here. Get ready to go back to the meal. Talk now. Let me now tell you my final word. See this conversation. It's over. It's over. Eh? It's over. So, you know what you do for me, eh? You will go back to Bini. You will go and meet that your mother-in-law. Eh? Are you hearing me? Eh? You wait for your husband to come back 
and make sure you don't come back. You don't, you make sure that you come back to this house with that car I was sent for you. In the end, Thomas, you must marry. Take me to go. Is this how love will treat me? I'm in pain. I'm in pain. Is this how love will treat me? I'm in pain. I tried everything to convince Mama that this relationship cannot work. That I can start a fresh relationship over. I can be lucky to have a man who is rich also. Who is even richer than Thomas. But all my words fell on deaf ears. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. And who are you? Oh, I'm Margaret's friend. Also, no. You are Margaret's friend. Give me my Um, is she around? She's not around. Uh, Ma, she's expecting me. In fact, she knows that I'm coming today. Hi. Yeah, okay. Before me, me pa nyama. Ona. <sighs> Come on, get out from this place. It's okay. I'm sorry, ma. Look at the like casket. I will take my leave. Ma, na. I'm shiny, ma. Sorry for yourself, too. Ew. Nyara. Hello. You said what? How? As in how? I have been in the house since morning. I didn't go anywhere. My mother. Oh my God. Please, where are you now? Okay, just wait there. I am, I am, I am coming right away. Please, I'm coming now. <sighs> Mama, why would you lie unnecessarily? You need to come and walk in our wine. Answer me. What does a man and a woman have in common? Answer me. Mama, I don't have your time now. Yeah. I don't. Oh, come again, again, Agua. Oh, say no. Mama, I don't have your time. In this house. Very sorry. Please forgive me. Forgive my mom too, please. I mean, she hasn't met me before. Why is she being so hostile? Does she know me? Does she know where I'm coming from? No, so I am sorry. I am so so sorry. Let's go back to the house. Back to where? I'm not going back to that house. I'm not going back there. Okay, let's sit at nearby store. I'm okay here. That's your mom. Who? She. Where is she going to? Yeah! Leave my daughter alone! Leave Maggie alone! Mama! She's a married woman! Shut up your mouth! Can go 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 Again! Maggie, are you married? Answer him! No, I am not married to anybody! No! Hey! Maggie, see that you are not married! Hold on! 
Has she told you that her husband lives in London? Eh? Maggie, you're even married and your husband is in London. Mm -mm. Hey. Mm -mm. You did not tell him. No. Well, hold on. Shut the check on. Don't worry. As for you, let me ask you a question and I want you to answer me honestly. If you are married to a woman and you hear or you see that she is dating another man, at your back, how would you feel? Okay, me. Answer me. Hey, yeah. It's a go -go. Answer me now. <sighs> Maggie, Maggie, my daughter, please, I don't want you to feel bad. I know that deep down in your heart, you must have been asking yourself so many questions. And you must have been thinking, if I am actually your mother, I am your mother. It's okay. See, listen to me. In your hands. The truth is that no mother hates her own. No mother would want to hate her own child, especially after carrying that child in her womb for nine months. All I am asking for is for you to see things in my own way. Maggie, you are very beautiful. And you're very precious. <laughs> Listen. I cannot continue in this suffering. And I cannot watch us continue in this suffering. Yes, I can understand. I can understand that your mother-in-law hates you so much. Fine, I am not disputing it. But you should also understand that she is not the one you're marrying. And... You do not need to make her your priority. She's not even a factor for now. You should focus on your husband despite the fact that he is not in the country. He lives abroad. But know it that one day he will return. And when he returns to you, the two of you will start living happily. Then that your mother-in-law will not have any excuse to come in between you people's marriage or even to try to unleash her anger and hatred on you. Yes, I know deep in my heart that this marriage will work and you will be happy. Now listen, our six rooms bungalow is on the finishing. And it is only this young man, Thomas, your own husband-to-be. He is the only one God has used to bless us. Why are you refusing this blessing? Secondly, you know that by now, you would have been a car owner if not for your indecisiveness. Yes, you would have been driving a car of your own. And don't undermine how our mockers, how they will feel when this house will be finished. And when they hear that it belongs to us, Maggie, how will they feel? You see, them that have been mocking us will turn around to celebrate us. Understand? Please, understand. Help me, help us. Help us, please. Eh? Ne. I know you can do it. You can. Please, just do it for us. You know, go. You will be happy. Wait until your husband returns. You will be happy again. Eh? Please, stop crying. Eh? Stop crying. Come. Come. Come closer. Come. Yeah, I know that's what you want. So it's okay. Stop crying. Eh? Is this love? I couldn't convince her. Rather, she convinced me. Now I am the one wearing the shoe. It's now hurting me. And me alone. Mama is nowhere to share in my pains. 
whatever the case, I am still human. I have the right to my freedom. I am nobody's slave. I'm dying in silence. I'm dying in silence. I thought they say that marriage is a beautiful thing. But mine is different But mine is different Oh my God Please help me out Baby show me some love Show me some love baby mom Show me some love I need your attention I'm not asking too much Show me some love I need your pampering baby Baby show me some love I'm not asking for much Show me some love, be romantic, God do me my love, I'm not asking for much. Show me some love, it's me and you forever, Ever. gonna try it together, no one puts us on that. For any reason, will you support your mother raise her hand on your wife? Well, the truth is that Thomas is blessed with a good wife. She's calm, she's lovely. I mean, she's a wonderful wife. She is. Don't ask her the question. I'm still heading to the answer. If it were to be my wife, I don't think there would be any reason for me to intervene because she would tear down my mother and my house that day, she would tear everything into pieces. Eh? My wife, my mother dare not raise her hand on her. It's not possible. Ha! Well, that was very bad. V very terrible. I mean, the presence of your friends. Ah, no, 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 no. There is no excuse whatsoever acceptable for this. Right. Ah. Your wife, you watch your, your mother raise your hand on your wife. It's bad. It's really bad. You're right. You know, I used to regard Thomas as a perfect gentleman. Not anymore. No, 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 not anymore. Don't do that. My wife. Oh. <laughs> Tiger. <laughs> that house will catch fire that day. No dinner. Um, I don't know. She's still moody. Maybe because you hate her. What rubbish. Maybe because I'm, I hate her. She deserves to be hit. She's very silly. Don't worry, Mom. I'll, I'll just go with cereal and some fruits. Don't worry. I'll make you something. Mom, no, I don't want you to bother yourself. Why? I know what she's trying to do. She's trying to get back at us by stabbing us. That's not going to work. You hear me? I'm a woman, I can cook. So I'll make you something, don't you? No, Mom, I insist. That you don't go to bed on an empty stomach. You just go back from work. I'll make you something nice. Rubbish. I hate her. She's moody. So what? Why would she be moody? I thought if I hit her, she would leave. But she stayed on because she has nowhere to go. Thank you, Mom. Is this how love will treat me? I'm in pain. I'm in pain. Is this how love will treat me? I'm in pain. I'm in pain. Should I walk away? Should I give it a break? Should I walk away? 
I'm dying in silence I'm dying in silence I thought they say That marriage is a beautiful thing But mine is different Chima yeah. But mine is different Oh my God Please help me out Baby show me some love Show me some love baby mom Show me some love I need your attention I'm not asking too much Show me some love I need your pampering baby Baby show me some love I'm not asking for much Show me some love Be romantic God do me my love Joy. Joy. What's wrong with this woman? Eh? Somebody will wake up to do something and she will not be on the bed. What's all this? Because it's midnight to take Joy and I'm now watching her pipe on midnight. Joy. Let's go to the room. I want to do. Do what? I didn't have to me about a pipe. Plumber. No. You know, I've been meaning to ask you a very sincere question. Like, am I a sex toy? How do you mean? I want to know if I am your sex toy. I'm a woman. Learn to treat me like a woman. I'm not your sex toy. Stop doing I'm your wife. Stop doing this to me. It's not fair. What was the noise all about? Can, can, can you imagine that girl waking up this morning and telling me that she 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 wants to leave my house? On what basis? So let her go. Huh? What is she still doing here? She should leave already. She's not even needed here. Let her go back to the bacha where she belongs. Uh, well, well, mom, she can, she can just leave like that. If she wants to leave, then let's make it official. So make it official. All you need to do is call the marriage counselor. In fact, go there now. Have her start the proceedings. What's the big deal? She should get out. She's not even needed here. She should go back to the bacha where she belongs. All right, mom. I, I'll stop at Sonia's and then ask her to start the... Uh, Divorce proceeding as well. More like it. More like it. Uh, wait. You'll be running for House of Reps next year. Yes, well, what has that got to do with anything? A lot, my dear. A lot. Confidence. You're a boarding politician. You need to learn from the mistakes of the older ones. It's called wisdom. Okay. Now, any mistake that you make, any dent on you, your opponent can use it against you. It's called common strategy. Okay. A divorce is a very big dent on your portfolio. Your opponent can use it against you and for all you know, you can get disqualified. Okay, okay. That's true, that's true. So, so how do I handle it? Should I just go in there and tell her to, okay, there's no divorce, you're not mm -mm. going anywhere until... You will divorce her. But, 
on one condition.